Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to get passport in Oregon. Ah, the lure of international travel. But first, you need that little book of power, a passport. In Oregon, the process is straightforward but requires attention to detail. First, you'll need to determine if you're eligible for a passport. Are you a U.S. citizen? Do you have proof? Birth certificates or naturalization documents will be your golden tickets here. Next, find a nearby passport acceptance facility. Post offices, libraries, and some county offices wear this hat. They're the gatekeepers to your application's journey. Ready to face the paperwork? Form DS-11 is your new best friend. Fill it out, but don't sign it just yet. That's a step reserved for the acceptance agent's presence. Photos are a must. You'll need a recent 2x2 inch color photo of your fabulous face. Make sure it meets the official requirements, or it'll be a no-go. Fees are part of the deal. They vary depending on age and whether you're opting for a book or a card. Check the latest fee structure so you're not caught off guard. Don't forget proof of identity. A driver's license or a government ID should do the trick. If you're using an out-of-state ID, bring along a second proof, just to be safe. For minors under 16, both parents' consent is usually required. Make sure to bring the young ones along with their own IDs and birth certificates. Processing times can test your patience. Routine service can take weeks, but expedited services are available if you're willing to pay extra for speed. Once all is said and done, you just wait for the mail carrier to deliver your passport. Then the world is yours to explore. Ooh. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.